Hi guys, so that is how we complete the mandibular cast mounting. As you can once again see elastics placed here to ensure that the pin does not lift itself from the table. And as you can, as you can see here, the mandibular cast is at quite an angle. And that is why it is important that prior to mounting, you seal the maxillary and the mandibular cast. When I straighten this up, this all looks so much more correct now. All right. Now, before I proceed with the next step, which is checking the RCP, I have to go ahead and remove these elastics and this so easily. See that it comes out without much of an effort. And as you can clearly see, it has not left much of a residue at the back. Go ahead and do this on both the sides. Remove the glue stick and go ahead and remove the elastic. Now you lift up the maxillary member, go ahead and remove the CR record, close it down. As you can clearly see, the upper member and the lower member of the cast are not articulating. This is because the centric relation was recorded at an increased VD, which is this plus five number that you see here. So the first thing that I do is I open up this incisal pin by rotating the circle and I allow the casts to go and touch each other. Now remember the casts will go and touch at RCP. That is the first point of tooth contact. And as you can see, there is no direct intercuspation. Now remember this patient constantly kept complaining that I can chew from this side, but I'm not able to chew from this side. Can you see it's becoming apparent now as to why is that the case? Because this side, there is no occlusion. Right? It is completely open in centric relation. The primary contact is towards the premolars on this side, whilst this side again is slightly open. So what I now do is I communicate with the technician, the RCP and the occlusal vertical dimension. So if you can look at the pin here, I can see one line, two lines, three lines, and I am at a fourth line here. Right now, remember this is six lines below zero. So on the cast right here, I will write down minus six and send it to the lab technician so that he knows this is the vertical dimension at which I want him to go ahead and give me the wax up. All right, so that is how you go ahead and mount the maxillary and the mandibular casts on a semi-adjustable articulator. Remember, maxillary cast is mounted with the help of a face bow record and mandibular casts are mounted with the help of a centric relation record, which is done after deprogramming. With respect to programming of the articulator in itself, we start with mounting at a vertical of plus five, which is to compensate for the use of unwind. And second is to make sure that we have done our mountings while keeping the H value at plus 20. I hope you guys can go back and do this in your practices just the way it has been taught in this video. Bye-bye.